Hi all, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be looking at strings or characters. Um, we're going to be looking at that default variable type. And we're also going to be looking at basically the four most popular string functions. And that's left, right, mid, and length, or len. So we're just going to go ahead and dig in. I've already got my Visual Basic Editor open. I've got my code ready. So we're going to walk through each line. To get to your Visual Basic Editor, you're going to hit Alt F11, or you're going to come here and drop down. Once you're there, you're going to hit uh, drop down to a module. It's going to open up your code window. This is where you're going to put your code, and we have our code. Now, first thing about strings is strings are not numbers. So if you were to look at a string um, from, a, uh, from a coding standpoint, it's not going to save it like it would a number. Now, the code is smart enough to figure that out. So you'll notice that I've got S here. S is equal to blank, that's the de default value for strings. And when I hit F8 here, I'm just going through line by line, it's going to say strings are text. Now you'll notice when I click this, again, I've got a number in here, but it's going to put double quotes around that. That means that from a, from a coding standpoint, the VBA thinks, oh, well, this is, this is 100, not 100. Um, now, typically, most coding languages are going to be smart enough to say, hey, that looks like a number, it smells like a number, it is a number, um, and so it's going to convert it to that. Next thing I want to show you is just how that you how you combined two different strings. So you'll notice I've got, um, actually, let me show you this in a better way. S equals S. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to concatenate or combine strings, and you, you do that by using the AND sign. So when I hit S, it's going to show me you can concatenate a string. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, you can concatenate a string, and we're basically going to combine by using the AND. And you'll notice when I click this, let's do a quick thing real quick. We're going to go debug uh, print just to show you what we're doing here. And hit F8, you can concatenate. And then we're going to put in debug print again, so just so you, again, so that you can just kind of see what's going on. You'll notice it changed down here if I highlight over it. It's my locals window. Love that window, and it added that extra section. So you use the and sign to combine combine a string. Um, next thing I want to show you is just left. Well, left does is I want to know the left number of characters. So in this case, I want the left three characters of my variable s or that string. Now I'm using a variable here, but you could actually put in quote whatever you wanted, and it would pull the left of that. But typically, you're going to be doing using left, right, or mid on a variable, and not necessarily on a um, on actual a text that you had quoted around. So if I hit F F8, it's going to pull the left three. It's going to pull in you. I'm going to pull that in because it's the left three characters, which would be one, two, and three. Now we're going to do the right five, which is going to be, um, if you look at that, it's going to be and, it's going to be the and. Oh, ha, that's funny. I didn't, I messed that up. It did ex That's the funny thing about code is it'll do exactly what you tell it to. So it does the and, which is what I was expecting. Fat fingered that. Now the mid, all the mid is, is mid says, hey, I want the middle of a string and so what you do is you the the syntax is what your string is where you start and how many characters so this should give me concatenate because I did my counting and I said hey I want to start on five which is right here and how many how many uh, letters are in concatenate and it's 11 and there it is the last one is just the length and that really that is, is how long is this string um, I don't even know. I haven't even run that yet. I should put in a debug print here. Um, S, S, L, N. Now I know it's 39 because it's down here in my locals window. But that just shows us real quick what that is. Um, so that's a really quick overview of string uh, and the most popular string functions. So I hope this is really helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, at Everyday VBA. Like my videos. Also, if you have a comment, please leave it. Have a great day.